Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nona from TheAlignLover.com. I have a different kind of video for you today inspired by my real life. Lately, there have been a lot of Parisian women visiting us from Paris. My boyfriend is originally from Paris and lately many of his relatives have been coming to Los Angeles, enjoying the sunshine and just visiting and they also have great style and are over 50. So if you are curious as to what stylish Parisian women wear when they are traveling, this is the video. So before I get into some of the outfits, I just want to go over some cliches that are actually true. So simplicity really is elegance. These women don't wear very ostentatious outfits. They're understated, less is more. They really know themselves first because they are older. They've had more time to get to know themselves, experiment on their style journey, and also because they have more social pressure to look more polished because that's the kind of city Paris is. They're also very, very used to walking a ton, so they invest in very comfortable shoes. They also invest in comfortable trousers and sweaters and easily layerable items, and they just look for items that will last. They don't buy cheap things. They'd rather save up or they'd rather buy something secondhand than buy something new and cheap that's going to fall apart. So this is the first outfit. It is inspired by one of the women who I believe is a dramatic classic. She is a bit on the moderate to slightly tall side, very balanced, very chic and elegant. She is a doctor, so many of her clothes kind of coincide with her um, professional work environment when she is in the office. So she does have that more professional kind of overtone to her outfits. Um, but what I really loved seeing her wear was this formula of a solid, lightweight, long sleeve in navy she looks really good in navy it's really good color on her nude trousers not super tight just you know skimming her legs um, and just skimming slightly above her ankle bone she wore those with leather low-cut sneakers and she wore a gold chain a gold watch and a gold bracelet super duper simple so what i love about this outfit is first and foremost the use of color she just knows her season so all of the navies that she wore all of the golds all of the beiges and the tans really complemented her skin tone everything looked so comfortable on her nothing was too loose or nothing was extremely tight either she just allow the clothes to really skim her body and you can tell that she put in time and effort towards looking for just the right outfit, just the right top, just the right pair of sneakers and maybe she even got her pants tailored because they fit her so perfectly. So this next outfit is inspired by another woman who is more on the petite side, I would say around five foot four inches tall. Um, and she was definitely a soft summer. She had that beautiful soft summer coloring. So that's why I added these gorgeous uh, soft light blues, kind of creamy whites and um, this navy, which can really bring out the beauty of silvery hair so she liked to wear long sleeves or like semi long sleeves with a boat neck um, she kept the tops a bit longer so that they would skim her body and kind of elongate so that she didn't have a harsh line between her top and her trousers 
she wore mid to high rise trousers that were just a little bit longer so they were more on the boot cut side and she um, did also wear ankle trousers but she liked the looser fit and she paired them with slip-on flats and a simple single chain bracelet. So back to my dramatic classic inspiration for the warmer weather days when she was here she wore Bermuda shorts. Um, she can pull off the white Bermuda shorts. She kept them completely spotless. I would probably like sit in something accidentally um, but she looked very crisp in these longer Bermuda shorts and um, a collared button-down shirt super breezy super light like a spring summertime appropriate fabric with a single gold chain and leather strappy sandals um, sometimes she wore a watch and it just looked so crisp and so elegant yet so comfortable and it was perfect because she was here between winter and spring which means very warm to slightly slightly kind of crispy in um, LA here so in the shade sometimes you get a little chilly but when you're in the sun you know you get pretty warm so this was the perfect kind of combination for that weather now this collage is inspired by my boyfriend's mom she is the same size as me she can literally wear all of my clothes she is also um, my height. She has the same shoe size as me, so that's funny. And she also likes the same colors I do. I'm a soft summer. She is a light summer, so it's just funny to kind of see the similarities. Um, sometimes before we would wear the same style bikini, and I thought that was super hilarious. But anyways, this is what she wore um, to the beach. And you know, walking around a beach town, she just wore high-waisted shorts with a flared opening at the leg, so they stayed super comfortable and a little bit more breezy throughout the day. She could walk in them lots and she could bike in them. She also just wore her bikini or swimsuit underneath. She really likes turquoise, blues, pinks, um, and she was not afraid to wear a two-piece. There's no age limit to wear a two-piece. Uh, and then she would pair it with a big stack of kind of silvery toned bracelets. So she had really fun jewelry. And this is what she wore out to dinner. Again, LA is super casual and she tends to be a little bit more casual than the other two women. So she just layered a simple longer tank top with a slightly shorter lightweight boat neck um, pullover so that they don't look too bulky when they fall on the, the actual trousers so um, having that little staggering of lengths kind of softens any bulk that can show up if you wear layers that are of the exact same length she wore a light blue lightweight scarf slim high-waisted jeans almost exactly these white nike sneakers a vintage bag from who knows when but it was beautiful and this silver stackable bracelet and because it does get cold at night in la um, they had a lot of layering options so for the coldest days they would probably wear this parka this belted parka um, but underneath that, they definitely wore a black puffer sleeve jacket. I feel like everyone from Paris, man or woman, has a black puffer sleeve jacket. Everyone I have met has worn one. And um, it was hilarious because at some time, they just showed up in the same outfit. Um, so the black one is a standard. They also have different shades of that with different collars and sleeve lengths. My boyfriend's mom gets cold easily, so she wore a puffer vest underneath a puffer jacket. Um, 
They also had a few cardigans and there was a bomber jacket in the mix as well. And to like really tie the knot neatly, I really want to emphasize the fact that these women do keep their hair really fixed up. They do get regular haircuts. They style their hair. It doesn't take forever, but they do keep it looking very polished. The hairstyles that these women had were a longer sleek bob with a deep side part. So you have that nice little swoosh across the face there. Looks great with glasses, just like that. Um, my boyfriend's mom has this really fun shaggy haircut with the bangs. And the other woman had a nicely layered bob, just like this, like a medium bob with a side part. As for their makeup, they would wear a very light layer of lipstick and a little bit of mascara, and they kept their nails quite short to medium and really natural colored very polished nails just really well groomed so that was my video um taking a lot of inspiration from real life and i just want to really hone in on the idea that once you know yourself and once you really understand what looks good on you your color and you embrace comfort you can create a lovely simple wardrobe you look great all the time, no matter how cold or warm it is, no matter where you go. Um, it's really a journey. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.